Garlic is an herb that is grown around the world. It is related to onion, leeks, and chives. It is thought that garlic is native to Siberia, but spread to other parts of the world over 5,000 years ago. Garlic is most commonly used for conditions related to the heart and blood system. These conditions include high blood pressure, high levels of cholesterol or other fats lipids in the blood hyperlipidemia, and hardening of the arteries atherosclerosis. In foods and beverages, fresh garlic, garlic powder, and garlic oil are used to add flavor. How does it work? Garlic produces a chemical called allicin. This is what seems to make garlic work for certain conditions. Allicin also makes garlic smell. Some products are made odorless by aging the garlic, but this process can also make the garlic less effective. It's a good idea to look for supplements that are coated enteric coating so they will dissolve in the intestine and not in the stomach. Possibly effective for hardening of the arteries atherosclerosis. As people age, their arteries tend to lose their ability to stretch and flex. Garlic seems to reduce this effect. Taking a specific garlic powder supplement Alicor, INAT Pharma, twice daily for 24 months seems to reduce how much hardening of the arteries progresses. Higher doses of this product seem to provide more benefits in women than men when taken over a four-year period. Research with other products containing garlic along with other ingredients Kyolic, Total Heart Health, Formula 108, Wakunaga have also shown benefits. Diabetes Garlic seems to modestly reduce pre-meal blood sugar levels in people with or without diabetes. It seems to work best in people with diabetes, especially if it is taken for at least three months. It's unclear if garlic reduces post-meal blood sugar levels or HbA1c levels. High levels of cholesterol or other fats lipids in the blood hyperlipidemia. While not all research agrees, the most reliable evidence shows that taking garlic may reduce total cholesterol and low-density lipoprotein LDL, bad cholesterol in people with high cholesterol levels. Garlic appears to work best if taken daily for more than 8 weeks. But any benefit is probably small. And taking garlic doesn't help increase high-density lipoprotein HDL, good cholesterol or lower levels of other blood fats called triglycerides. High blood pressure. Taking garlic by mouth seems to reduce systolic blood pressure, the top number, by about 7 to 9 millimeters of mercury and diastolic blood pressure, the bottom number, by about 4 to 6 millimeters of mercury in people with high blood pressure. Prostate cancer. Men in China who eat about one clove of garlic daily seem to have a 50% lower risk of developing prostate cancer. Also, population research shows that eating garlic may be associated with a reduced risk of developing prostate cancer. But other research suggests that eating garlic does not affect prostate cancer risk in men from Iran. Early clinical research suggests that taking garlic extract supplements might reduce the risk of prostate cancer or reduce symptoms associated with prostate cancer. Preventing tick bites. People who consume high amounts of garlic over about an eight-week period seem to have a reduced number of tick bites. But it's not clear how garlic compares to commercially available tick repellents. Ringworm tinea corporis. Applying a gel containing 0.6% ajain, a chemical in garlic, twice daily for one week seems to be as effective as antifungal medication for treating ringworm. Jock itch tinea curris. Applying a gel containing 0.6% ajain, a chemical in garlic, twice daily for one week seems to be as effective as antifungal medication for treating jock itch. Athlete's foot tinea pedis. Applying a gel containing 1% ajain, a chemical in garlic, seems to be effective for treating athlete's foot. Also, applying a garlic gel with 1% ajain seems to be about as effective as the medicine Lamisil for treating athlete's foot. Possibly ineffective for breast cancer. Taking garlic does not seem to reduce the risk of developing breast cancer. Cystic fibrosis. Research suggests that taking garlic oil macerate daily for eight weeks does not improve lung function, symptoms, or the need for antibiotics in children with cystic fibrosis and lung infection. Inherited tendency towards high cholesterol familial hypercholesterolemia. In children with high levels of low-density lipoprotein LDL or bad cholesterol, taking garlic powdered extract by mouth does not seem to improve cholesterol levels or blood pressure. Stomach cancer. 
People who eat more garlic or take garlic supplements don't seem have a lower chance of developing stomach cancer. A digestive tract infection that can lead to ulcers, Helicobacter pylori or H. pylori. Taking garlic by mouth for H. pylori infection used to look promising due to laboratory evidence showing potential activity against H. pylori. However, when garlic cloves, powder, or oil is used in humans, it does not seem to help treat people infected with H. pylori. Lung cancer. Taking garlic by mouth does not seem to reduce the risk of developing lung cancer. Mosquito repellent. Taking garlic by mouth does not seem to repel mosquitoes. Narrowing of blood vessels that causes poor blood flow to the limbs, peripheral arterial disease. Taking garlic by mouth for 12 weeks does not seem to reduce leg pain when walking due to poor blood flow in the legs. A pregnancy complication marked by high blood pressure and protein in the urine, preeclampsia. Early evidence suggests that taking a specific garlic extract daily during the third trimester of pregnancy does not reduce the risk of developing high blood pressure in women who are at high risk or pregnant for the first time. Insufficient evidence for patchy hair loss, alopecia areata. Early evidence suggests that applying a garlic 5% gel along with a topical steroid for three months increases hair growth in people with hair loss. Chest pain, angina. Early research suggests that administering garlic intravenously by IV for 10 days reduces chest pain compared to intravenous nitroglycerin. Athletic performance. Early research shows that taking a single dose of garlic before exercise can increase endurance in young athletes. Enlarged prostate, benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH. Early research suggests that taking a liquid garlic extract daily for one month reduces prostate mass and urinary frequency. But the quality of this research is questionable. Colon cancer, rectal cancer. Some research has found that eating more garlic is linked with a reduced risk of colon or rectal cancer. But other research does not support this. It's too soon to know if taking garlic supplements can help reduce the risk of colon or rectal cancer. Common cold. Early research suggests that garlic might reduce the frequency and number of colds when taken for prevention. Corns. Early research suggests that applying certain garlic extracts to corns on the feet twice daily improves corns. One particular garlic extract that dissolves in fat seems to work after 10 to 20 days of treatment. Heart disease. Some early research suggests that taking a specific garlic product for 12 months reduces the risk of sudden death and heart attack in people at risk for developing clogged arteries. Other early research suggests that taking a supplement containing aged garlic might prevent clogged arteries from worsening. Cancer of the esophagus. Early research on the use of garlic for preventing cancer in the esophagus is inconsistent. Some evidence suggests that eating raw garlic does not prevent the development of cancer in the esophagus. However, other population research suggests that consuming garlic weekly does decrease the risk of developing cancer in the esophagus. Muscle soreness caused by exercise. Early evidence suggests that taking allicin, a chemical in garlic, daily for 14 days can reduce muscle soreness after exercise in athletes. Shortness of breath in people with liver disease, hepatopulmonary syndrome. Early research suggests that taking garlic oil for 9 to 18 months might improve oxygen levels in people with hepatopulmonary syndrome. Lead poisoning. Early research suggests that taking garlic three times daily for four weeks can reduce blood lead concentrations in people with lead poisoning. But it does not seem to be more effective than D-penicillamine. A grouping of symptoms that increase the risk of diabetes, heart disease, and stroke metabolic syndrome. Early research shows that taking raw, crushed garlic twice daily for four weeks can reduce waist circumference, blood pressure, and blood sugar levels in people with metabolic syndrome. It also seems to improve high-density lipoprotein HDL, good, cholesterol levels. Cancer of white blood cells called plasma cells multiple myeloma. Early research suggests that taking garlic might be linked with a lower risk of developing cancer of the plasma cells in the bone marrow. Swelling inflammation, and sores inside the mouth oral mucositis. Early research suggests that using a garlic mouthwash three times daily for four weeks improves redness in people with mouth sores. People seem to be more satisfied with garlic than the drug nistatin, but it is less effective. Thrush. 
Early research suggests that applying garlic paste to affected areas in the mouth can increase the healing rate in people with thrush. Osteoarthritis. Early research shows that taking garlic tablets twice daily for 12 weeks can reduce pain in overweight women with osteoarthritis in the knee. Hardening of skin and connective tissue, scleroderma. Research suggests that taking garlic daily for seven days does not benefit people with scleroderma. Vaginal yeast infections. Some early research suggests that applying a vaginal cream containing garlic and thyme nightly for seven nights is as effective as clotrimazole vaginal cream for treating yeast infections. But other early research suggests that taking garlic garlicin, nature's way, twice daily for 14 days does not improve symptoms. Warts. Early evidence suggests that applying a specific fat-soluble garlic extract to warts on the hands twice daily removes warts within one to two weeks. Also, a water-soluble garlic extract seems to provide modest improvement, but only after 30 to 40 days of treatment. A type of benign, non-cancerous breast disease, fibrocystic breast disease. Swelling, inflammation, of the stomach, gastritis. Swelling, inflammation, of the liver, hepatitis. Obesity. Other conditions. More evidence is needed to rate garlic for these uses. Side effects and safety when taken by mouth, garlic is likely safe for most people when taken by mouth appropriately. Garlic has been used safely in research for up to seven years. When taken by mouth, garlic can cause bad breath, a burning sensation in the mouth or stomach, heartburn, gas, nausea, vomiting, body odor, and diarrhea. These side effects are often worse with raw garlic. Garlic may also increase the risk of bleeding. There have been reports of bleeding after surgery in people who have taken garlic. Asthma has been reported in people working with garlic, and other allergic reactions are possible. When applied to the skin, garlic products are possibly safe when applied to the skin. Gels, pastes, and mouthwashes containing garlic have been used for up to three months. However, when applied to the skin, garlic might cause skin damage that is similar to a burn. Raw garlic is possibly unsafe when applied to the skin. Raw garlic might cause severe skin irritation when it is applied to the skin. Special precautions and warnings, pregnancy and breastfeeding, garlic is likely safe to use during pregnancy when taken in the amounts normally found in food. Garlic is possibly unsafe when used in medicinal amounts during pregnancy and when breastfeeding. There is not enough reliable information about the safety of applying garlic to the skin if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. Stay on the safe side and avoid use. Children, garlic is possibly safe when taken by children as a medicine short term. However, garlic is possibly unsafe when taken by mouth in large doses. Some sources suggest that high doses of garlic could be dangerous or even fatal to children. The reason for this warning is not known. There are no case reports available of significant adverse events or mortality in children associated with taking garlic by mouth. When applied to the skin, garlic might cause damage to the skin that is similar to a burn. Bleeding disorder, garlic, especially fresh garlic, might increase the risk of bleeding. Diabetes, garlic can lower blood sugar. In theory, taking garlic might make blood sugar too low in people with diabetes. Stomach or digestion problems, garlic can irritate the gastrointestinal GI tract. Use with caution if you have stomach or digestion problems. Low blood pressure, garlic can lower blood pressure. In theory, taking garlic might make blood pressure become too low in people with low blood pressure. Surgery, garlic might prolong bleeding and interfere with blood pressure. Garlic might also lower blood sugar levels. Stop taking garlic at least two weeks before a scheduled surgery. Major interaction do not take this combination. Isoniazid nidrazid, INH, interacts with garlic. Garlic might reduce how much isoniazid nidrazid, INH, the body absorbs. This might decrease how well isoniazid nidrazid, INH, works. Don't take garlic if you take isoniazid nidrazid, INH. Medications used for HIV, AIDS, non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, NNRTIs, interacts with garlic. The body breaks down medications used for HIV, AIDS to get rid of them. Garlic can increase how fast the body breaks down some medication for HIV, AIDS. Taking garlic along with some medications used for HIV, AIDS might decrease the effectiveness of some medications used for HIV, AIDS. 
Some of these medications used for HIV, AIDS include nevirapine, viramune, dilaverdine, rescriptor, and efavirenz, sustiva. Sequinavir, fortovase, invirase, interacts with garlic. The body breaks down sequinavir, fortovase, invirase, to get rid of it. Garlic might increase how quickly the body breaks down sequinavir. Taking garlic along with sequinavir fortovase, invirase, might decrease the effectiveness of sequinavir fortovase, invirase. Moderate interaction be cautious with this combination. Birth control pills contraceptive drugs, interacts with garlic. Some birth control pills contain estrogen. The body breaks down the estrogen in birth control pills to get rid of it. Garlic might increase the breakdown of estrogen. Taking garlic along with birth control pills might decrease the effectiveness of birth control pills. If you take birth control pills along with garlic, use an additional form of birth control such as a condom. Some birth control pills include ethanol estradiol and levonorgestrel trifosyl, ethanol estradiol and norethandrone ortho novum 135, ortho novum 7, 7 7 and others. Cyclosporin neoral, sandimune, interacts with garlic. The body breaks down cyclosporin neoral, sandimune, to get rid of it. Garlic might increase how quickly the body breaks down cyclosporin neoral, sandimune. Taking garlic along with cyclosporin neoral, sandimune, might decrease the effectiveness of cyclosporin neoral, sandimune. Do not take garlic if you are taking cyclosporin neoral, sandimune. Medications changed by the liver cytochrome P452 E1 2 times 10 to the 1 cypriot pounds substrates interacts with garlic. Some medications are changed and broken down by the liver. Garlic oil might decrease how quickly the liver breaks down some medications. Taking garlic oil along with some medications that are changed by the liver can increase the effects and side effects of your medication. Before taking garlic oil talk to your healthcare provider if you take any medications that are changed by the liver. Some medications that are changed by the liver include acetaminophen, chlorzoxazone, paraffin forte, ethanol, theophylline, and drugs used for anesthesia during surgery such as eflurane, ethrane, halothane, fluothane, isoflurane, forane, and methoxyflurane, penthrane. Medications changed by the liver cytochrome P453A4 CYP3A4 substrates interacts with garlic. Some medications are changed and broken down by the liver. Garlic might increase how quickly the liver breaks down some medications. Taking garlic along with some medications that are broken down by the liver can decrease the effectiveness of some medications. Before taking garlic talk to your healthcare provider if you are taking any medications that are changed by the liver. Some medications changed by this liver include lovastatin, mevacor, ketoconazole, nizoral, itraconazole, sporinox, fexofenadine, allegra, triazolam, halcyon, and many others. Medications that slow blood clotting, anticoagulant, antiplatelet drugs, interacts with garlic. Garlic might slow blood clotting. Taking garlic along with medications that also slow clotting might increase the chances of bruising and bleeding. Some medications that slow blood clotting include aspirin, clopidogrel, plavix, diclofenac, volterin, cataflam, others, ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin, others, naproxen, anaprox, naprosin, others, dalteparin, fragmin, enoxaparin, lovinox, heparin, warfarin, coumadin, and others. Warfarin, coumadin, interacts with garlic. Warfarin, coumadin, is used to slow blood clotting. Garlic might increase the effectiveness of warfarin, coumadin. Taking garlic along with warfarin coumadin might increase the chances of bruising and bleeding. Be sure to have your blood checked regularly. The dose of your warfarin coumadin might need to be changed. Dosing the following doses have been studied in scientific research. By mouth. For hardening of the arteries atherosclerosis, a 300 mg garlic powder tablet quai, Lictor Pharma, taken as a single dose or three times daily for up to four years, has been used. Also, 150 mg of a specific garlic supplement Alicor, INAT Pharma, twice daily for 24 months has been used. Combination products containing garlic have also been used. A specific aged garlic extract supplement Kyolic, Total Heart Health, Formula 108, Wikunga, containing 250 mg of aged garlic extract taken daily for 12 months, has been used. Also, a combination product containing 300 mg aged garlic extract, taken at a dose of 4 tablets daily for 1 year, has been used. 
For diabetes, garlic powder 600 to 1,500 mg daily has been used for at least 12 weeks. A 300 mg garlic tablet Alicor, INAT Pharma, taken 2 to 3 times daily with medications called metformin or sulfonylurea, for 4 to 24 weeks has been used. For high levels of cholesterol or other fats lipids in the blood hyperlipidemia, a dose of 1,000 to 7,200 mg of a specific aged garlic extract kyolic, wakanuga, has been used daily in divided doses for 4 to 6 months. A dose of 600 to 900 mg of a specific garlic powder tablet Kwai, Lictor Pharma, has been taken daily in two or more divided doses for 6 to 16 weeks. Also, 300 mg of another specific garlic powder product Garlex, Bosch Pharmaceuticals, taken twice daily for 12 weeks has been used. Also, 1,200 mg of garlic powder plus 3 grams of fish oil daily for 4 weeks, or 500 mg of garlic oil plus 600 mg of fish oil daily for 60 days, has been used. For high blood pressure, 300 to 1,500 mg of garlic tablets taken in divided doses daily for 24 weeks has been used. 2,400 mg of a specific garlic powder tablet Kwai, Lictor Pharma, taken as a single dose or 600 mg daily for 12 weeks has been used. Capsules containing 960 to 7,200 mg of aged garlic extract, taken daily in up to three divided doses for up to six months, have been used. Specific products containing aged garlic extract include Kyolic, Garlic High Potency Everyday Formula 112, Wakunga, Wagner. 500 mg of garlic oil plus 600 mg of fish oil daily for 60 days has been used. For prostate cancer, 1 mg per kilogram of a water-soluble garlic extract, taken daily for one month, has been used. For preventing tick bites, capsules containing 1,200 mg of garlic taken daily for eight weeks have been used. Applied to the skin, for ringworm tinea corporis, garlic ingredient ajain as a 0.6% gel applied twice daily for one week has been used. For jock itch, tinea curris, garlic ingredient ajain as a 0.6% gel applied twice daily for one week has been used. For athlete's foot, tinea petis, garlic ingredient ajain as a 1% gel has been used. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click the notification bell to be updated. Thank you.